thing is to switch it from the schematic level to the PCB board. So first of all, I've come to the file system here. Click on the test.dsn, the project name.dsn, and then go to tools here, and then click on the netlist, create netlist. So once it create netlist, it will show you the create PCB editor for the netlist. So create PCB editor for the netlist has been checked in. So if you want, you can create and update the PCB board result. So I'm gonna click it here so that the entire board will switch it for, along with the netlist. It will create the netlist as well as it will create it to the PCB board. So click on the create or update PCB editor board. So I'm gonna use uh, PCB Electro PCB editor or you can use uh, open board in PCB or CAD editor. Uh, and the first time we, when, I, when we are switching uh, from the schematic to PCB, I will choose the output board file that is automatically generated and make sure input board file should be blank. And the second one is Allegro here. It will create a folder called Allegro. Under that folder Allegro, the board file will be generated. Now I'm gonna click OK. So it will ask you to create the Allegro folder. Click say yes. So it will take some time uh, to switch from the schematic. If any error, if you get it, so it will stop going towards the PCB editor. So now PCB editor is coming here. So you can observe here uh, on the top side here, the test.bid has been created inside the test project in Allegro folder. It is inside the Allegro folder. So that means our board is successfully, upgrade, uh, successfully switched from schematic to the PCB editor. 